What is up guys and girls, I am Virtual Pigs and welcome to Imagine Earth. Now, this is the game that I was that I mentioned in yesterday's video, uh, and for those of you in the future, in the final video of Planetary Annihilation, the final fight video. And frankly, I have absolutely no idea what the hell this game is about, other than it involves space, and I love space. I like space games very, very much. But I think it's also some sort of management game, so this should be interesting. So without further ado, let us get into the campaign. And I'm going to guess that this is our first world. Hello, I am Rama. Welcome to Imagine Earth. Lama, Lima, welcome to Imagine Earth Limited. Your application test takes place on Tuto, Tutu, an ideally, yeah, an idyllic small paradise. This would a grand colony with eight hundred thousand farms, or eight hundred thousand people, farms, power plants, and factories. As our galaxy is dominated by vast corporations, we have to make profits to keep the company competitive. Huh. Okie dokie then. Let us get into this. I presume this is the tutorial. Welcome on board. We're approaching planet Tuto. Uh, a small untouched paradise is one of million a million planets that has optimal living conditions and enough resources to build a, co a colony. Ow. I just stabbed myself with my own nail. Your job is to build up cities and supply buildings. May I introduce our global management interface? The interface gives a simplified visualization of the planet. This way you can focus on global decisions. Lovely. Clicking the right mouse button chooses every menu. Uh, it closes this dialogue as well. Ah, okay. Use the mouse wheel or control slash shift to zoom in and out. I'll use the mouse wheel. Hold the right mouse, right mouse button pressed to rotate the globe. If you want to point something out to you, an icon will appear. If I want there, if I want to point something out to you, an icon will appear on the planet. Rotate the planet until you find it, and activate the message on the left button. Clicking on the landing capture symbol, or click on the landing capture symbol, and select the destination on the planet. Try to get as much building ground into the radius as possible. Okie dokie. Um, I presume this is pretty much our first one, so I think there's a good one. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, let it auto name that one. I might name some of them later on. But for now, I think I'll leave it to auto naming. After landing, our capsule is expanded by uh, expanded into the first city center of the colony. Okay, I'm pretty sure my Englishing is going very well today. That's a complete lie, but oh well. Now we need food for our citizens. Uh, click on. Uh, click a farm and to go to farm. Uh, oh god, welcome to the technology center. Here you can license new buildings that have been developed. These are already copyrighted and patented, so you will need to pay for a license on each of your planet. Okay. I'm just going to point out that this is also an early access game, and so far for an early access game, 
I'm liking it. It's, it's actually really, really good. Uh, I'm going to stick it there. Okie dokie. Okay, so that's the game menu. Oh wait, shit, I didn't actually mean to do that. Whoopsie. I do actually want to place that there, please. Thank you. Uh, this button, you can recall the last dialogue in the info panel. Cool. That's very handy. That does not look like a farm field to me. Oh wait, there we go. Now it looks like a farm field. There's no power to it though. Are you going to tell me how to make power now? Aha! Of course, the farm needs energy. Uh, quickly build a power plant to provide energy to your buildings. Okie dokie then. So, this. I didn't read that. Whoopsie. My bad. Um. I think we'll place it there. I'm gonna presume that this is a cold one. Uh, you can see the borders of your colony. Your buildings and city districts can only be built in this area. Ooh! I completely forgot that that's what that does. Silly me. Uh, fuel deposits. Uh, these fields are rich in fossil resources. Nearby coal power plants are more productive. Okie dokie, so I was right, it is a coal. Uh, look, with an, look, with enough energy, the food production is working. Oh, okay. I, uh, I'm not sure if it's my Englishing is just going terribly or if the English in this is a bit wafty as it is. Either way, it's not a problem. Well, without supply, uh, with goods, the life quality in your cities will stay low. With some stone quarries, you can provide building materials. Okie dokie. Oh, hello. This can be produced with stone quarry. Uh, it's more productive near rocks and slowly mines them without you having to pay for it. Okay then, so if I grab this and then grab this and then chuck it down there. The tip of my nose is really itchy. It's annoying me. You know what, so far I'm really liking this. This is actually relatively simple to understand. When you click on any building, you can see its production consumption. Uh, you see its production consumption as well as the air and ground pollution in the info panel on the lower left. I'm going to presume that you. Yeah, you obviously do a bit of pollution. So, we have satisfied all the basic needs, and now the colony is growing. Take a little cash bonus for your work. A wonderful small colony, isn't it? Yeah. It is. I recommend expanding the city with additional city districts. This will raise tax revenues. May I introduce Dr. Two Stone? He is the head of our research department and your personal technology consultant. Lovely, I was wondering when they were going to get round to um, introducing him. I'm going to stick an urban thing there. Right next to the city centre, that makes sense. Have the farm out over here, nice rural area. The power plant over here, you know, away from the rural area. And the stone quarry over here. Again, in its own little section. And then from there we can build a nice little residential place. Right next to the heart of it all. Set up another district in the neighbourhood. Okie dokie. So now I'm going to expand towards this farm because... 
I think that would be nice to have a rule, a uh, housing area to rules more rural part. I wonder if things like that are actually a thing in this game. You have earned yourself a research budget. Uh, you can use it to research new tools and upgrades in the research interface. Click to the research panel at the top left to open it. Uh, top left, research that one. Oh, good God. Okay. Um, it's time to expand our first city center. This will open up additional construction land and increase living space. Expanding to a large city has to be researched first. Okay, urban development, infrastructure, engineering, economic science, physics, engine, engine technology, uh, en uh. English please, brain work, energy technology, there we go, we got there eventually, geology, uh, agro and biotechnology, so agriculture basically, uh, recycling technology, metal technology, Sustainability research and filter technology. Uh, we having we have to increase our population to eight hundred thousand to meet our company's growth target. Yes, I know that. Uh, this one. There we go. <laughs> I think that kind of worked. We got there eventually. Uh, surrounding your city center with three districts, this will allow you to expand it. Okay, so if we come out of this, we need another city district, so we'll stick one that side. Great news! There are new buildings available. In addition, the company has donated us a tech license. Think carefully how to spend it. Ooh. Forestry. Cattle farm. Bi uh, okay, so biomass power plant. Biomass power plant uh, produces. Many buildings cause local soil pollution, so it causes soil pollution as well as air pollution and production costs, obviously, although it produces a hell of a lot less than that. It also produces a little bit less energy. Uh, the forestry uh, produces goods based on wood, nearby forests can increase the production, it will slowly be harvested, adjacent Factories will receive a bonus. And cattle farm. The produced meat uh, complements the food supplies of your city. The yield of a neighborhood farm source and you know, fertilizer. Okay. I'm going to go for this one. There we go. So we'll um good. Uh where should we put this one? Put it there because that's like right next to a set of trees, so its production output will be increased, which would be good. Oh, I'm enjoying this. It's good. It's a nice little. Not too hard, not too easy. Uh, forestry production is good based on. It's based on wood. It's more productive when built next to forests. Well, I would be surprised if forestry wasn't, you know, more productive when built right next to a forest. I would be ever so slightly confused. Oh, okay, so we're not doing too badly. Mind you, our food produce is low, so I'm going to shove 
another one of those down just to bring that up a little bit maybe oh do you know what now that i think about it that built there i'm gonna have to build a power plant right there because i'm gonna guess that i might not have enough power yeah okay so now we're down on power so let's take that and we'll put it there because it's the other place that it can go. And that should balance everything out, hopefully. Get everything in a nice, you know, decent balance. I wonder if you can put things in water. That, actually, yeah, you must be able to put things in water. That's going to get interesting. I mean, just looking at the size of this research tree, that's pretty extreme. Uh, in the research center, you can research new upgrades for your colony management and your buildings. You'll be rewarded with additional research budget by doing a good job there. Okay, then. I mean, that's a pretty decent, it's pretty extensive list. Uh, neighborhood building is decreasing your earnings. Uh, yield loss. Okay. Fertile soil. Right, I tell you what, what we might do is take that building away because it's taking away from that and then put it over there. That way, that building will still produce power, it will produce more power. And this one should also produce more food over there because it's fertile land. I hope I'm actually doing this right and not just making myself look like a complete idiot. No, there we go. So yeah, we've now got an increase in production on that, an increase in production on that, and everything's happy and lovely. Uh, okay, so what do I do now? Obviously, I've got profit coming in. I've got good energy, good food, good production. The colony shares are good. Quality of life, 71%. Not bad. Housing space, got plenty of that. Uh, emission balance. Or at least uh, we've got 0% climate collapse. Okay, so it's good that that's something that I'm going to have to keep an eye on. That's interesting. Oh, that one's very happy. That one's obviously happy. That one's happy. Uh, you are producing a decent amount. Shut up, phone! I can't believe I forgot that. Um. Mm. God damn text. Uh. God damn it, phone! Stop with the distracting me. I'm too easily distracted sometimes. Okay, so we got. Obviously, that's draining that resource. Although apparently that one's giving that one reason. Do you know what? These the way this whole interface works is absolutely beautiful. It's so easy and intuitive to read. I love it. Love it to pieces. I mean, when I saw this game on Steam, I was already interested in, in just how unique it looked. Especially since it's basically a city management game essentially. And it doesn't work in the uh, conventional style. I mean, I do like, I don't mind the old conventional style, you know, like, um, uh, what's the one that you. Not SimCity, it's the other one, the other really good one. I forget what it's called, but there's another uh, city simulation one which I, I've actually got that, and it's a lot more complicated. And it's a. Hard, it's hard. <laughs> But this one's just nice and relaxing, you know, it's different. I like it. 
Hey, it's actually I think this should get a lot more attention. Cause this is only early access, so I can only see this getting better. Is that a polar ice cap? <laughs> Wait, do we have a Oh yeah, we actually have polar ice caps. That's pretty cool. And obviously it's so smooth how that just scrolls around. Anyway, um, what are we doing? Gonna build another one of those. That's what I'm gonna do. And you are working perfectly fine. I'm not entirely certain what the consumption rate of this is going to be. Okay, so being right next to a power plant, it they don't like that. Okay, that's... You're just going to have to make do, unfortunately. There can be a, a slightly lower end of town. Ah, here we go. Okay, that's literally just wasting the resources, so I might as well demolish it. But that's what I was supposed to be doing the whole time, is just expanding the city, and it was me just chatting away. The expansion is done. Additional land has opened up to be used for construction. The city centre also has more living space now. Lovely. Use the lumbering tool to harvest timber by uprooting yeah. forests. I don't want to uproot forest though. Do so you have to research lumbering first. Note that the note that advanced cities are demanding more variety and they need at least two different types of food and goods to be really satisfied. Noted. Alright, so we do actually need the other food, some research budget. Let's get the lumbering tool like it wants me to get. Uh, tech licenses. Can I not afford that? Bro, I need a tech license. Ah, okay, so I have to actually earn a tech license first. Okay then, I don't really want to uproot the forest, considering that's going to do considerable... Oh, I suppose I can uproot this one. Lumbering, there we go. Let's lumber that one, because that one's not actually doing much, so... Makes sense. Wait for that to do... I'm liking how this is going. 71% quality of life, still no climate collapse percentage, got a lot of housing space. Things are going well. I just need to get that tech license so I can get the other style of, or well, the other type of food. Okie dokie. Uh, well, I don't, don't want to rename it. Mm. Oi! Hello! You know, summer's wildfires arise in particular dry areas. They spread downwind from field to field. This fire is dangerously close to our colony. Extinguish it, please. Thank you. Hmm. I'm thinking I'm probably going to want some more produce. So, let's get some 
stone get that going. And then that should increase our produce or production. Power should be perfect. Fine. I obviously need the other type of food, which would be nice. But I need tech license for that. Hmm. I think it's pretty much now just a case of wait. Oh, hello. Natural disasters. Watch out, a twister. Natural disasters like this will harm your colony and construct. Natural catastrophes will occur more frequently due to climate change caused by your resource conditions. Okay, well that one's not anywhere near our colony, so I'm not too worried about that. Let's get everything going nice and fast so we can wait for the next thing to happen. This is pretty good for a tutorial. Oh, okay. Never mind. Um, we're actually supposed to be mining out some lumber and stuff. I'm hoping that this one will actually have enough, because if not, I'm going to have to chop this down, which is not going to be good, because it means that this is then going to lose production. That's going to be a problem, isn't it? I foresee that being a bit of an issue. Okay, I can't number that, that's a shame. Yep, it wants me to... Oh, can I... Lumber that as well? Oh, I can lumber that as well. I didn't know that. So this is eventually going to run out because it's now no longer got that to... Uh, although... That's giving back to that. This is all very, very interesting how this works. It's actually surprisingly in depth. It doesn't look it at first. Maybe I should get rid of that one as well. There we go. So we, we got that nice and clear. So now that we have the tech license, I can buy this. And then we will put that uh, here, I guess. Yeah, we'll put it there because it's going to get a bonus from this one. And it's good because we were actually running a little bit low on the old um, food production anyway. Just wait for that to build up. There we go. And everyone's happy. Very nice. Um, although that's taking away some happiness from that. Yeah, it's livable. Considering that those two are giving a bonus to each other, and then obviously that small amount of yes, yeah, that's not a problem. How are you doing on production? Yeah. I bet you that's the, uh... Oh, wait. God damn it! With the whole... Phone! Why? The worst bit is, is the person who calls me actually knows that I'm probably recording right now. Then again, it's probably it's my fault because I normally leave my phone on silent just for whatever reason I decided not to today. Yeah. My bad. 
Actually, I hope that didn't spike out too much. <laughs> I guess we'll find out in editing. Because at this rate, this is going to take more than... Yeah, this is definitely going to take more time than I initially anticipated. Okay, let, let's put that there. I don't suppose there's anywhere where I can put another... Um, Thing is that oh I can put it right next to there, that's handy. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah, I think this is definitely gonna be one of those where things are gonna Ooh, okay. This things are probably gonna run over episodes, so I think for now We've done a fair bit here, so we're going to call the video here, I think. So that does it for this video. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button. Stay awesome as always. And I will see you in the next video.